Hello everybody, today we're going to play um, My Time at Sandhawk. Um, it's the alpha version, so um, you can play, but uh, um, the story is not complete. Um, but you still can play it. Um, it's the same as My Time at uh, Portia, if you played it. I played it on the PC and on the Xbox, the Portia one. And it was a very nice game. I completed them. Um, this one is sort of the same, but it's not going on with the story of Portia. It's a new section of the game that's opening up. There are um, characters from Portia that shows up in the game, um, but that's about it. Okay, so let's start playing. Okay, first you have to customize. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it like this. Choose your birthday. Mm. Can't change the month, okay. There, you must be the new builder. I'm Ian, the other new builder. I just got here yesterday. Nice to meet ya. I'm here to take you to the Commerce Guild. The retiring builder and the commissioner are there. Let's not keep them waiting. Follow me. This way. Okay, so this looks like the competition you have in the game. In, in Portia, you also competed against the other builders. Um, I like the environment, it's like a, a wild west, the old wild west, but a bit modern. It's a look and feel of it. Oh. Okay, let's go meet the people. Howdy there, I'm Yan, president of the Sand Rock Commerce Guild. Pleased to make your acquaintance, yada yada yada. I'll be overseeing you with Mian, but don't think of me as your boss. Think of me more as, um, a, a buddy. That's your, uh, uh, supervisor. This here's Mason. He's retiring, and, you know, the whole reason for you being here and whatnot. But you knew that already. Uh, what am I talking about? Anyway. See that workshop there on the other side of the tracks? It used to be Mason's, but now it's all yours. Ain't that swell? Just think of all the great stuff you'll be able to make in there for our Commerce Guild. And, well, for other people too, I guess. Uh, well, I am now speechless. Uh, Mason, as the uh, established builder of Sandrock, why don't you say a couple of inspiring words? Um, well, let's not get too friendly. I mean, I'm on my way out of here. <clears throat> my workshop is yours now. He doesn't look like he wants to leave. You may find it run down and dilapidated, ill-equipped, and it is certainly those things, but you may also find that the place has a lot of heart. I believe that will suffice. 
May you bring Telesis to the land. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the Blue Moon. There are only so many more days I'll be able to get my Yakmel milk on. Well, he always was a bit awkward, mind you. Anyway, back to business. Before you start, I need to tell y'all a bit about how we work here in the desert. I know you already hold builder licenses, but things are a bit different here from what you're used to. To start with, there aren't too many trees around, so don't go swinging your axe around too much. It's, uh, frowned upon, anyway. But there's plenty of scrap metal and driftwood you can break apart. For that, you'll need something called a pick hammer. It's a pick with a hammer, just as the name implies. We use it only because it's useful for breaking up rocks, but it's also durable enough to break up the old world scrap all around here. Easy stuff to make as well. You just need to find some stone and wood and craft it at your work table. Why don't you try making one for yourselves? You'll be needing it right away anyway. When you're done, just come find me in the Commerce Guild. But, you know, uh, no rush. <laughs> uh, see you there. <laughs> True. It is pretty easy to make. We should be able to find the stone and wood we need by just searching through junk piles on the ground near our workshops. Picking up things is fun. Hey, let's go to your workshop and see what kind of machines Mason left for you. Let me take you there. I'm already getting pretty acquainted around here, so I can make sure you don't get lost. Camel of speakers on. Okay, let's go to the workshop. Let's see what's there. Table. That should be all you need to make a pick hammer. You know, Sandrock is still well known across all free cities for being directly on top of an old world metropolis. They say some old scraps even end up here on the surface when the wind blows. Once we have our pick hammers, we can smash them up and get all the resources we need. Also, I kind of wanted to say something to you privately. Um, see. The reason I came to Sandrock is because it's not doing well for itself. Everybody in the Free Cities knows that. But I didn't hesitate signing that contract. I thought it'd be the best way for me to make a difference in the world. I bet you feel the same way. So let's make a promise, builder to builder. Let's take Sandrock back to its glory days during our time here. Let's give it our all, okay? Hmm. Well, I'm off to make my pick hammer. See you around. Bye bye. Oh, things are broken. What is this? Axe. Probably for the wood. Some scrap. Okay. Chop some wood. Show you make the pick hammer. Pick hammer. I'm broke about this one. Okay, so I need stone, four of it, and two wood. Okay. Let's go see. What's this? Looks like wood. Let's give it. Okay, got some more wood and stone. Let's get some more. Oh, this shows me where I must collect it. Okay. Yeah, 
the Sox assignments in Portia, we also pick up scraps in the beginning. So they're sort of the same. Let's see if we get here. I need some more stone. Come on, give me some stone. Yay! Come make it. Okay, let's see. Okay, craft. Yay! Got that. Okay. Talk to Jan. Let's go to Jan. These things. Bumble ant. It's carrying a pot of honey. <laughs> there goes the train. Let's go talk to you on. Hey dude. Now that's a nice looking pick hammer. It is the soul of a desert builder. Never lose it. But if you do, well, now you know how to build another one, I suppose. Next, let me tell you about the recycler. It's another indispensable tool for a desert builder. It's the machine that's synonymous with make do. Once it's made, you can put the scrap you collect with your pick hammer into the recycler to get all kinds of useful items. You can construct the recycler on your assembly station. Here's the diagram for it. Just look it up in your workshop handbook. You can also open to it on the control panel at the assembly station. Eh, don't worry so much. You'll figure it out. I'm back to the Commerce Guild when you finish. Bye now. Okay. What's here? Okay, can't buy it. I think that's done. Presents. Let me first go build the recycler. I think that's what I want me to do. It's the talking camera. Recycler, there you are. Okay, let's assemble it. Okay, yeah. Okay, what do we need? Wood. Okay, we've got wood, so let's put that in. Stand trough, trough. Stand trough, that's probably here. Yeah. This. Can we get some more stuff? What's this? Wood. Okay, can't take that. One. I need another one. 
sacro to grinding saw. Where am I gonna get that? Oh, there. I need some more rock. Let's go look this side. What's here? They said we mustn't chop down trees. Let's see what happens if we chop down this cactus. I can't. This bush. This is gonna give a oh, five million wood. Some water is. Let's try this. Let's try this cactus. Yeah. Hi there, friend. <laughs> I couldn't help but notice you're doing something illegal. We are not allowed to cut down trees near the town. Oh, sorry, I didn't oh. know. Cutting down trees around town can have some seriously negative effects on our environment. Seeing as this is your first offense, I'll let it slide. But if I catch you out here chopping down public trees again, well, I'll have no choice but to fine you to the full extent Sandrock nuisance law allows for. Oh, I'm shaking my boots. Worse than that, though. Why, if I saw you chopping down trees, I, I don't know if I would want to be your friend anymore. I'm sure a lot of people around town would feel the same way. Okay. But don't you worry. You can find wood scrap out in the desert, buy imported wood from me, even plant your own trees on your own property. See, plenty of ways. So you really have no need to chop these trees down. That's okay. all, builder. Conserve water and don't chop down these trees. Okay. Okay, let's get the saw. Saw. Two, yeah. Stand trough, another one. Okay, that should finish it now. Put in that one. Put that one in. Hey, it's done. Okay. We have to go talk to Jan. need to show me the recycler I'm sure it's fine you have a builder's license right besides what's the worst it could do explode and burn our whole town to the ground <laughs> the main thing to take away here is that from now on whenever you have questions you can just consult your workshop handbook and definitely uh, not ask me anything related to building whatsoever Yes, I'll be far, far too busy to handle your questions. So, now you have the basic knowledge of a desert builder. Why don't you mosey on over to City Hall and register your workshop? Normally, the mayor handles registrations, but Minister Matilda's taking over administrative type stuff for her at the moment. Mindlessly following orders! All right! You're wow. my kind of builder. Oh, uh, by the way, I found a couple of extra diagrams I was probably going to throw away. <laughs> but uh, why would I do that when I could just uh, recycle them uh, to you? <laughs> uh, no need to thank me. 
consider it a new employee uh, bonus uh, thingy. Anyway, hurry over to City Hall and have Matilda register your workshop. While you're out, I'll be preparing a job for you. Hurry back when you're registered. Okay, let's go register our workshop. in the previous the Portia one when you ran you got tired but this one they removed that because that was a bit of an annoyed annoying thing about Portia that when you run you get tired oh who goes there oh it's you <laughs> I thought you were one of Logan's gang <laughs> silly me you look nothing like an outlaw Your arms are so skinny. Do you even know how to defend yourself? You know the desert isn't kind to the fragile. Hmm. It is decided. I, the magnificent pen, the protector of Sandrock, as of five seconds ago, have taken it upon myself to offer you a combat lesson. I think no. I'll pass. Huh? But skinny arms. You never can be too careful with all these bandits about. And did I mention I'm the strongest man in the world? It doesn't look strong. No, sorry, still no. I see. Well, don't blame me when you're halfway down the gullet of a giant giggler. What the hell is a giggler? there you must be the builder i'm minister matilda from the church of life filling in for mayor trudy we're so excited to see you getting started as a builder here in sandrock if you're here well that means you must have passed yen's little audition and you're ready to register your workshop all you have to do is fill in the name of your workshop and we're all set what do we call it it's always difficult. Build, build a lot. <coughs> build a lot. That'll do it. If you ever want to change your workshop name again, you can buy a rename card from the city hall store. Okay, noted. Congratulations, Builder. Your workshop is officially open for business in Sandrock. Whenever you're ready, you can start taking commissions from the commission board inside the Commerce Guild. Now, I'm not exactly known around these parts for my arithmetic, but I do reckon we can expect a lot from two builders as opposed to just old Mason by his lonesome. Work hard, then you'll have plenty of pocket money for yourself too, don't you know? Hmm. I dare say this calls for a celebration. Normally we have fireside meetings on Sunday nights, but I reckon I'll just round everyone up tomorrow to proper welcome you new builders. Oh, and you must come. It wouldn't be the same without you. See you then. And congratulations again, builder. May you bring Telesis to Sandrock. Okay. Baldur's license. Oh yeah, it's the same thing in Portier. You also get a Baldur's license, which you can put up in your workshop. In Portier, it gave you extra stats if you put it up. I wonder if it's the same here. Let's go see. Let's go first. Talk to Yan again. Oh, hey. Did you get a mess 
message from Yen saying, emergency, come now, as well? No, I didn't. I wonder what's the emergency? Listen here, you lazy mop stick. Me and my boys have had it up to here with you. Excuses. Where's our friend, huh? Oh, look! Rocky, old buddy, old pal. Don't you buddy me, pal. Since Mason's leaving, you promised me you'd do it yourself. First it was you had a cold, and then it was your turtle beans. And today I find out you don't even got a turtle. Do you understand how much money I'm losing here? So now, I gotta give you a beatdown. Sorry, pal, but it's a company policy. Oh, uh, uh, wait, no, Rocky, no, look! Well, what I really meant is, uh, I was bringing in new people to take special care of your commission. Uh, uh, look, here they are. Did we come at a bad time? No, no, you came at the perfect time. Uh, Mr. Rocky here is the big boss of Eufala Salvage. And he's got a very special commission that we should take care of right away. With Mason's departure, the commission sort of got lost in the shuffle for a few uh, months or so. But now that you two are both registered workshops, you can take this commission off my hands. Uh, help out, uh, right? Oh, yeah, sure. That's what we're here for. Did you hear that? Our first big job. See? They're up for it. Uh, what do you say, uh, buddy pal? All right, Yen. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna give you one more chance. Great! Listen here, builders. Rocky and his miners are working out of Paradise Lost. You know, that big-looking ruins right next to the builder's workshop? My pal here commissioned two crane lifts to move things up and down this real long tunnel they're working out of. And since there are two of you, each one of you can make a lift. Easy peasy for all. Sorry for putting you two on the spot. If only Yan's doing his job like he's supposed to, and hey, I'm not your pal. If you're looking for parts, we have a bunch of salvage in our company backyard that you can ruffle through. It's located by the Paradise Lost Ruins. Lots of miners there. Can't miss it. Normally, we charge a weekly fee for access, but here, Take a free one-week pass. Oh, thank you. When you're done, install it for me as well. She already drew me up a diagram for the lift. So yeah, you can have it. Hope you put it to better use than this sorry excuse for a builder here. Uh, my, uh, back was hurting. Based on this diagram, we won't be able to find these parts from any random scrap. I guess we'll need to take a look at Rocky's salvage yard. Looks like we'll need to use a furnace as well. Well, we can't finish if we don't get started. Let's do our best. Yes, let's do our best. Oh, it's you again. Say, since I've got you, did I ever explain the uh, commission board to you? No, it's fine. I know it from Portia, it's the same thing. <laughs> Dedicated to figuring it out yourself, eh? Well, good on you! The less time I have to spend training you, the more time I'll have for, um, you know, uh, big important uh, president stuff. I think you'll find the information you need in the Commerce Guild handbook on my desk. Check it out if there's something you're not getting. Ciao! Cheers. Okay, so we need to build a crane. Bricks, wood sticks, stick wrap, copper stick, bearings. Okay. Let's break down this old furnace. Okay, to put the recycle down somewhere, where I'm gonna put it, let's put it here. There you go. I 
This thing you can salvage from the scrap. Most of. Like that. Let's do the stone scrap. Let's recycle that. All of it. Oh, we don't have fuel. What's this? Okay. Okay. So if you use time remaining and how much, okay. Fuel, okay. Redid that. Cancel. Did it start now? Yeah. See, it's okay. Okay, so this is it. It's scrap at the scrapyard. So let's go have a look. I think it's a side. Okay. It's got start salvaging. Report yeah, the same thing as the data disk used for research to get new stuff. Things to build. More plans. Let's try this. You've got the same thing in Portia with the energy level going down. This has the same thing. How do you get into there? Oh, there's the inventory. I have something to eat. Mm, doesn't look like it. Oh, there's the missions. What's this? Talk to the researcher. Okay. Oh. Stuff I can make. People you know. These are your photos. Encyclopedia. And your characters. Okay. Okay. Probably, this probably looks the same as Portia that you have to go to sleep to get back your energy. See, it's all mainly already nearly 12. Let's see if I can build a furnace along. I want a furnace. Furnace are very important. Smell stuff. Okay. So symbol. Stone trough. Let's resize. Quartz. Wooden sticks. Stone trough. Okay. This stuff is done. Okay. What's nice about this one is it already sets the amount you have to make to assemble the thing you use. The other one you have to remember. You have to remember it. When it's 16, it's already put in two. Because I need only two for the thing. Oh, I don't have the recipe for the rope. I have to go get it. Okay. Okay, trough is done. Don't have the quartz yet. The wooden stick is done. I only need the quartz. Yeah, quartz query or refinery. To do all refinery recycle. Copper scrap. What's this? Drag. Metal scrap. Rubber scrap. What was it I needed? Quartz from all of my oh, quartz. Is there any quartz here? Nope. 
Nope. Nope. Let's do this along once along. Okay, let's go to bed. And uh, I must put up my this thing. It doesn't give you anything. Well, it gave you stats to your health and stuff like that. Oh, just let's put it up somewhere. Yeah. Boom. Let's go to bed. Okay. Okay, it's the next day. she talked about the letter from Ma okay they sent me some stuff church it's a fireside okay favorite okay let's favorite maybe, maybe it will remember me let me know that must know So we need quartz. Where are we gonna get quartz? Let's put some more stuff in here. Let's take the copper full. Go. Let's go to this side. See if we can get some quartz here. Okay, uh, that's for enough for today. We'll uh, do another day, another part, and continue on with the game. Um, for now, for now the game looks quite well. It looks actually better than Putia one. Okay, bye.